There are some stories which were not only an audience to, but may become their participants. Nikki's story came out by accident after this scrapbook surfaced after gathering dust for decades. Once it did, though, it said about a whole chain of incredible events. That's me before I left for England. But until 1988, I had no idea who had rescued me from all but certain death. It was this old man who had saved my life and that of hundreds of others in the Second World War. Yet for 50 years, we knew nothing about him. Four children. This is his scrapbook. There are all kinds of fascinating pictures in it. Perhaps you can see this is a picture of Nicholas Winton himself with one of the children he rescued. If you look at the very back of this scrapbook, Fascinating things in it, all the letters. But back here is the list of all the children. This is Vera Diamant, now Vera Gissing. We did find her name on his list. Vera Gissing is with us here tonight. Hello, Vera. And uh, I should tell you that you are actually sitting next to Nicholas Winton. Hello. <laughs> I wore this around my neck, and this is the actual purse that we were given to come to England. And I'm another of the children that you saved. Can I ask, is there anyone in our audience tonight who owes their life to Nicholas Winton? If so, could you stand up, please? Everybody has to learn to live with everybody else, regardless of creed or religion. I never thought what I did 70 years ago was going to have such a big impact as apparently it has. And uh, if it has now got a story which uh, helps people to live uh, for the future, well, that will be an added bonus. <laughs> 